Hey everybody, this is Captain Yeet here for you for Moana 2 spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Moana 2, I watch this video. The spoilers, <laughs> spoilers everywhere. Do not watch this video. I warn you guys. So yeah, I'm about a week late to see Moana 2. Normally I see it the day of every movie, but I got a good reason. When the very first Moana came out, it didn't come out on my birthday when I turned 15, but it came out around that time again, or like the Thanksgiving time, because my birthday is like a week after Thanksgiving. It's the 5th, it's today, and it came out. And I saw it on a whim. I really liked it. And then when they announced Moana 2, and it's coming out Thanksgiving week, I was like, yo, this is crazy. <laughs> it's coming out around the same time. So I'm going to wait a week to see it on my birthday again. I saw the first one on my birthday. And this movie is making money. <laughs> it is making a lot of money. I think it said it already made... Yeah, this is like a second week it been out. The first week it came out during Thanksgiving is already made about three hundred million, somewhat close to four hundred million. That's pretty good. Honestly, that's pretty good. It's so good, in fact, that I saw something. I think it was a pretty so it was real that they're already gonna make a Moana three. They're planning on it, and it's like it's in the works. That's pretty good. That's a, that's pretty good. I can't wait to see it. They did set it up for Moana 3. I can't wait to see what happens. Now, I've been seeing a lot of stuff about Moana 2 being really bad. So I was a little nervous about going into it because I kept hearing the songs were bad and the movie was bad. The movie was good. Now, the songs, I admit, they weren't like as crazy as the first movie, but they were still good. The first two songs are probably the best. Those are really good. That third song on the boat, that was really good too, but it wasn't any crazy. The song with the Bat God. See, her song was really good too. I liked it. And was that another song? There was the Bat God. The very first song, uh, We're Back. That was really good. Um, then there was that song where Moana was singing about, you know, because, cause, you know, when the, when the story picks up, when she has to go on a boat with those other people and go out to find an island, she was getting nervous about it because, you know, she might be gone for so long and might not come back. And when she went out, she was like singing. That was a really good song too. I don't know. Another, oh, the Maui song, You're Welcome. It's better than this new one. The new one, it made sense of what was going on in the story. But your are Welcome was way better. <laughs> your are Welcome was way better. I like that 10 times better. But it was so good, though, the song that he sung in this, uh, not the song, in this movie. Okay, I'm back. I had to get some water. Uh, this is me when I went to go see Moana 2. You know, I take a picture every time I go to the movie theater. Uh, pretty nice poster. There was another poster with Maui up there, but I didn't get a chance to take a picture with it. But this poster was still pretty good too. So I guess let's go over the new stuff, and then we'll get into uh the stuff I liked and stuff. So the main plot of this movie is there's this thunder and lightning god named Nalo, and for some reason he thought that he split up humanity and all the other species of well I guess the Earth right you have the other, all the other species of the Earth. It'll make him stronger. Now, they, they don't go into specific detail on why he thinks they'll make him stronger, or even or even if it did make him stronger. But it's like this one island that's, I guess, in the middle of the world that connects all the different oceans and seas together with all the other islands there, too. And it was, <laughs> it was kind of cool, because when they said that, I'm like, huh, it kind of sounds like the all blue, you know? <laughs> it kind of sounds like that. But it's not, like I said, there's an island that connects it all together. So he makes a gigantic storm around the island, so big and powerful that it actually sinks the island under. And so now Moana's people are separated from other cultures and other people around the world. Even the Kakamora, the little coconut guys, and they're actually from the original island, like somewhere else off to the side, but they can't get to it because when Nalo sunk that um, island, it made a curse. So now they can't get to it all. So now they need to help Moana, which I thought was really cool. Well, you know, and he brought those guys back in here. And while they're like, on, I guess that's why there's like a couple hundred of them on like a random ship. And then they're on like their own island. I guess that makes kind of sense too. But that, that was really cool. I kind of like that. And Nalo, he's basically the villain from Moana 2. They set him up really, you know, well to be the main villain of Moana 3. But in Moana 2, he's sort of like the background villain. But in all promotion. They hid him. I did not know about him at all. Like, <laughs> he was not in promotion at all. They didn't even hint at him until throughout the movie, obviously. And then in the after credit scene, after like the little mini credits, it shows him. And he looks pretty cool. I kind of like how he looks. He looks pretty dope. My only gripe was, I thought they were going to have some cooler clothes on. He just had like a, that's not, it's, called, not called, it's not called a thong, but he, he, he has something like Maui had on, but like a physical, Maui has like leaves. He had on like an actual robe around his waist. But he still looks cool, too, especially with the lightning arrows on his chest and on his shoulders. That that looks cool. <laughs> that looks really cool. But anyway, um, 
Where was I? Oh, yeah, the island is separated it, and we don't know if he actually got stronger or not. Anyway, eventually, Moana gets a sign from her ancestors, and they actually give that guy a name. The guy from the first movie that she kept seeing in spiritual form whenever she thought about and actually saw her ancient ancestors that used to be Wayfinder. Oh, no, 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 my bad. I was talking about the bat, talking about the bat guy. Um, yeah, they, they were, like, promoting her and all the promotion as the main villain. Like, like, like go back to any of the trailers and promotion. They were setting her as the main villain. And, no, she's not even a villain, really. She's helping Moana and Maui to stop Nalo and get the sea back up. I mean, get the, get the island back up so Moana can touch it. Because whenever a human touches it, it breaks the curse. I'm like, okay, that's, that's, that's kind of cool. But, you know, they, they, they were setting her up as that, but she wasn't a villain. Anyway... Back to what I was talking about. Um, they actually give that guy a name, the the chief that we specifically kept seeing. I forgot his name, but I was talking for T. But we get to see him, which is really cool. And he actually talked to Moana. Because when, when Moana like saw him in like that ancestral, weird, like flashback dream thing in the first movie, uh, he was like speaking I guess in a native language of the Moanan that well not Moanan, but <laughs> of Matanui. But uh in this uh, in this movie, he does talk in that native language, but whenever he talks to Moana about the island, about how you have to get there and go further than he did, he starts to talk in English so we can understand him. That was really cool. That surprised me. Well, because like I said, in the first movie, you are talking in like, I guess the native language from back in the day. And in this movie, he's like, Moana. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, that's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, he's talking English. We can, you know, we can understand him. That's really cool. Um, and on the journey to get to the new island, Moana picks up the new people. And obviously, it's those new characters that you saw in about all the promotions. It's that really big, burly buff guy that's like a really big fan, uh, fan girl or fanboy of Moana and Maui and his adventures that they go on. He can actually draw really well. He's sort of like making the manuscripts or like, you know, jotting down the history of what's going to happen here with the island and everything. So he's coming along for that. Plus he's really strong, so he'd be really helpful. If that really old guy, he's there to make plants and stuff. Because they can't just eat fruit all the time. I guess we have Moana, but we can't just eat meat and fruit and all this random stuff. We need you to be a good farmer and planter on the boat. So we need you. And then that girl, he's coming along because he helps make the boats for the Montanuis. Like, she loves making stuff. She loves improving. Like, yeah, that, that's her little thing. And those characters are really good. Probably my favorite ones are that little group. How about the guy and the girl? The old guy, he wasn't too bad. He, he had a few funny moments, especially when um he, he revealed that he can't swim. And I guess because he can't swim, he didn't, he put, like, those co he put coconuts on his shoulders as, like, floaties. Well, specifically, Moana and the other two put that on him. But later on in the movie, when they're thinking back on the boat, he's like, you know what, let's do this. <laughs> he puts them on. And he takes off. We thought it was so funny. Like, he was, like, he was in the group. Now he's in the movie. He was fighting against the bat god for a little bit. And he does mention that Nalo hates him a lot. He hates humanity in general. But he hates Maui a lot. And I was wondering, what did Maui do to make him hate him? I was assuming because he, you know, back in, in the first movie, they revealed that Maui would do everything for humans, pleasing humans any way he can. Might be a reason why he doesn't like Maui. Because, you know, he, he hates humanity. Maui doing anything for humanity. That might be one reason. Or maybe Maui... I mean, it might be that, probably. That that's the main reason. Maybe Maui did something else to him. And they make it a point to say, like, you know, Nalo... He's an actual god, god. Like, he, he, he's a god, but Maui is just a demigod. That was the uh, half human, half um, god. He's not like a full on. I think it's going crazy. My goodness. <laughs> Give me some. My phone's going off like crazy. Okay, I'm back. Um, What was it? Well, I forgot where I was. It was just, my phone's going off like crazy. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> I mean, it's my birthday. Everybody, all my, my family's texting me every birthday, but still, I don't know why they, they just started blowing up like crazy right there. Um, I mentioned the bad god. Uh, see, she wasn't really a villain. Maui knew her. You see, Maui and her fought, and we didn't get to see it. And then when we get to see Maui again, they, like, tied... I mean, she tied Maui up in, like, these bones, but he wasn't able to break it outright. I'm like, this man was able to pull islands from the sea, wrap his hook around the sun, and pull it down closer. But he's not able to break that? That might be some tonka tonk stuff right there. That's kind of crazy. Number one. Number two, I they they said that what well, the bad guy says that, oh, so you're the human 
that the gods are all talking about. I know Maui says that, you know, the gods made me a, uh, a demigod and everything, but, I, you know, I didn't really think about it. But, yeah, we get to see a bat god, Nalo. It's like, a, we don't know how many gods there are in the Moana world, but there's a lot of gods there. And for some reason, a lot of them are talking about Moana. Probably because, you know, she's a wayfinder. She's going to uh, break Nalo's curse and everything. And Nalo, he seems pretty powerful. I mean, he was pretty powerful in this movie. I mean, he didn't even, he wasn't even there personally, but he was still pretty powerful. In the third movie, it seemed like, yeah, he's going to be there physically boxing it. And I don't know how they're going to handle him. I don't know how. They could barely handle him this movie. And he wasn't, he wasn't even really there, like I said. So how are they going to handle him this movie? I mean, next movie? I don't know. I really, I really don't know. This is, this is going to be kind of bad. This is going to be kind of bad. Um... What else did I like? What else did I like? Um, I like how they... Uh, oh, when Moana went off that one island in the very beginning of the movie and went back to Montanui, uh, she stepped in the ocean and it made like that ring symbol of the Moana logo, which I thought was really cool. And then while she was singing on the boat, she made the ring symbol on the where, on the water wherever she was. And then her little sister made it where she was. And then Moana touched it. And then the ocean like... I guess it was like a portal, like it went, and then it like splashed up where her sister was. Well, okay, that was kind of cool. Her sister was really nice. She was really cute, real small. I'm surprised the parents have another kid because they didn't seem like old, old in the last movie, but it wasn't like they were making something. Hey, let's have another kid. I always have another kid because you know, Moana's going to go out. I'm surprised they had another kid, and they look pretty old in this movie, so I don't know. But man, yeah, she was really sweet. Her and Moana had a lot of nice scenes together. And Moana was, like, you know, really nervous about leaving the island because, one, you know, she, she didn't know if she was going to come back or not. And, two, she has this little sister that she really wants to take care of and, you know, help out because she's a little sister. That's her family. And she was also thinking about her mom and her dad, too. But, you know, her little sister, you know, pulling on the heartstrings and stuff. She was really cute. I liked her. Uh, I guess depending on how big of a time... I don't even know the time skip in this movie, but, but however big the time skip is in the next movie... I, uh, well, her sister looks like, like, four or three, so I guess that's, yeah, I guess that, but, um, oh, yeah, her mom didn't even look pregnant, unless she got pregnant, like, right after, it doesn't matter, anyway, um, I guess she'll be, like, a little bit older by the time we reach the next movie, uh, I do like that one scene near the end of the movie, where, in order to get faster on the wave, so they can get away from now those lightning tornado things, they break the mass, and they use the sail that's like a wing glider. So now they're really zooming. You have to hold it. That was dope. <laughs> that was really dope. And then Maui cutting the lightning and hitting it. He had to like jump up and bite it as a shark at one time because it was like getting really close to them. That was really cool. Like the whole ending sequence of them having to like um, surf away from the lightning tornadoes and Maui jumping up and cutting them in half. And eventually they're like, you know, Maui, you pull the island up so we can touch it. We're, we'll be able to like run away, maneuver around the lightning tornadoes. And Maui's like, okay, you know, be careful though. And Maui actually, try, I mean, that try he does, he pulls up an island. I mean, obviously, he said he could do that in the last movie. That's what I was saying. Like, you know, he could pull up islands and stuff, but he can't break through this. But yeah, we saw him. He finally used a rope that's tied up on the hook. Went all the way down, grabs his side of the rope, and pulls it. We saw, like, his muscles in his veins, and the island starts to move all the way up. And then all of them starts to, like, hit him with lightning. And he hits him with this huge bolt of lightning that takes all his tattoos away and he's like screaming and he falls in the ocean i was like yo me and my friend were looking at each other like no way he just turned mortal the tattoos are gone <laughs> what is happening and i wanna in the whole song with the bat god she was saying that there's other ways to do stuff this isn't just one way to do things and i want to take that to heart and instead of maui pulling the island all the way up for her to touch she swims down to the island and she touches it once she swims down to it, and Nalo sends some lightning down to her. And as soon as he touches it, it breaks the curse. But the lightning was still following her. And boom! It hits Moana as he jerks. And then she passes out. I was like, yo. No way she just died, right? Mari came down to her, like swam down to her. He started crying. And eventually all the ancestors of the Montanui came in and made that circle, like symbol, like the swirl symbol, like on the logo. And they all held hands in the grandma. And then started glowing and Moana started glowing and she got some tattoos on her arm now and she got some tattoo stuff on her oar 
And Mom, Moana even mentions, she goes, wait a second, does this make me a... Uh... And Maui cuts it off of a joke. I'm like, hold up. Me and my friend were talking like, is he a demigod now? Like, that'd be kind of crazy. I mean, I know Maui... I mean, he didn't... Well, he probably did die, huh? He said, remember, his mom and dad threw him in the ocean. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about something. They threw him in the ocean as a baby. The god found him. Made him a demigod. He got those tattoos. And Moana got tattoos now, too. So I guess in Moana world, tattoos mean you're a demigod. But Nalo's a real god. He has tattoos, too. But I guess those are those are different, though. And Maui, he got his tattoos back. <laughs> Maui got his tattoos back, so we're cool. And me and my friend, like, we were looking at, like, the, the you know, obviously the movie's came, like, no way, Maui, you know, is he mortal now? What's going on? And then the Osen gave him back his hook. And then his tattoos came back on. And me, me and him went, Oh, thank goodness. Like, we looked at each other. We were like, thank goodness. And then when he pulled the island back up, he does his other feet from the last movie. He takes part of the rope, throws it over to the sun, and he uses the sun as like leverage to pull himself this way. And he pulls the island. Oh, he pulls the island all the way up, which was dope. That was like that. And it was so dope. It was really dope when those electric eel things were coming in too. And I had to like fight them off. And then like, uh, that, that one guy that I could draw. He fell in the water, and one of the eels like jumped up as soon as he fell and went down to him. I was like, "Yo, where is Maui?" <laughs> Maui was fighting off like ten other ones. I'm like, "Oh my goodness!" Like he was dying. And one of them was so sick there too, and she was panicking. Like, <laughs> geez, Louise, man. Like this, this was a good movie. I don't know why people said it was like super bad. I mean, uh, I don't know. Was it better than the first one? It's a toss up for me. If the first one is still better than the second one. But they're still really good. And the songs, okay, maybe they didn't like go as crazy as the first movie. They were still pretty good. Like, I'm, well, at least to me, the first two songs were heat. They were really good. The Batgirl song, uh, Get Lost, that was really good too. Maui's song, You're Welcome is still better. But this song, he sung it, he was still pretty good too. So You're Welcome is still better than this. <laughs> you know, it's, it's still better. But oops, uh, it's still better. But you know, you're welcome. It's still, it's still good. I mean, the song in this movie is still really good too. Uh, what else happened in Moana too? Uh, you got that Moana with the tattoos and she's glowing. At the end of the movies, he does like stick her oar in the water, and it does make like a line in the water to go to another island. So besides from that, I don't know what else it can do. But okay, we also got to see all the other tribes of all the other people around the world come into Moana's village and we they we didn't they didn't really talk or anything, but we saw like a few scenes of them talking to other Montanuans specifically with the main tribe too. So that was really cool. We got to see the other tribes. I thought because in the first trailer she was like, we need to reconnect our people on this island. And then we got those new characters. I, I've been talking about the old guy, the girl that can fix the boat, um the, the guy that can draw. And I was like, huh. I'm guessing you know, the wayfinders used to go to island to island, so they probably made little civilizations on those different islands, but then Moana's dad cut it off. And I'm like, oh, okay, so I guess it was other Montanuans or different islands. So she has to go from island to island, get one Montanuan from each island, so now the whole tribe is together to step on the island. That's what I thought. But obviously, you know, all the Montanuans that we saw on Moana's boat, they're from Moana's island. They're not from different islands. They're not all Montanuans. They're from other cultures and stuff around the world. And they all come together. And they're setting up Nalo to fight against Moana and Maui and them. And I was telling my friend, I was like, either Maui's going to get upgraded from a demigod to a regular god. Or, I don't know. Like, if you had to jump him now, Nalo was a problem in this movie barely doing anything. Now he's going to physically get up in there. What is he going to, like, yo, we cannot handle him. Unless... My other friend was saying that, well, maybe it could be all out of war. Or maybe Nalo can get some of the gods on his sides about humanity that hates him. Maybe the bat god and Maui can get some gods on his side, I mean, size, uh, on his side that like gods. And that was like a all out god war in Moana 3. That would go crazy. <laughs> that would go really crazy. That would go crazy. My goodness. I can't, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see. I know. I know Moana thing is going to go crazy. And this was supposed to be a Disney Plus show before it was going to be a movie. And my friend kept saying it's bad because of that. And it's bad because they announced it. They announced it last year. And it came out this year. 
And he will say, when you announce a movie in this caliber, as opposed to announcing like two years in advance. But I'm like, that's too big. I, I don't know. It, it was good, though. It was good, though. Uh, and yeah, I, I was telling him, we have to wait to the first trailer. I remember Atlantis, that was really good. And then the second movie, you could tell it was supposed to be a TV show. It was chopped up episodes and stuff. So I'm like, depending on how the trailer looks, I'll make my judgment. And the first trailer came out, it was a banger. <laughs> I really liked it. It was a really big, good banger. Uh, that guy that likes to draw loves Maui. He keeps drawing like fanfics of Maui and him. And he finally gets to meet Maui in this, in this movie. He's always around him, hyping him up. At the end of the movie, they take a picture together. They have to like, you know, stitch it into the cloth. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. Um, one little sister does the thing Moana did. When Maui meets her, she pulls on his ear. And then he says, hey, I brought a gift for your si- I mean, from your sister. And there's a rock with a hole in it. So what am I supposed to do with this? He goes, you know, look in the hole. And look that way. And as soon as he does, it's Moana's boat. I'm like, okay. That was cool. When they got to the island right before the main island, they saw the other chief's um boat there crash landing. It's all ripped up and stuff. And they used some of their sails that packs up their sail. I like that too. <laughs> that was pretty dope. Um I said that on the boat was pretty funny when everybody was like getting miscombobulated and they didn't really know how to work together. The song in the boat was really good. There was one funny moment with uh, the the ocean. It went into the boat and it started to look at the older guy like, you know, come on, come sing with us. And he was like, you know, the, like the ocean waters like this. <laughs> he started doing that. There's these weird fish thingies that was around Maui when he was tied up before he got his fish hooked back. And they were just like eating off the floor in a funny way, just looking at him. And they, they even come back at the end to follow the old guy. <laughs> that, that that was ridiculous. Um, mentioned the ending with the lightning tornado. Nala was cool. Um, we really know what's gonna go on with him. The bat god, them sailing, that, and I think that's about it. I'll probably remember something when I cut this off. But yeah, I love Moana 2. I recommend you guys go see it. It's a really good movie. Uh, obviously, I'm not saying it's like the best movie in the world or it's like leagues above the first one. But this is a good one. It's making a lot of money. And the third one's going to come out. After all the movies they already announced coming up, I'm assuming the earliest 2028, maybe 2029. That's like the earliest I can see Moana 2 coming out. So uh, yeah, before I officially ended, I'm going to pause it, see if I missed anything. Okay, before I officially ended, uh, the crab from the first movie came back. My friends were so happy for it. They loved that crab. I mean, he was cool, but I wasn't, like, overly in love with him, you know? But he, he came back at the very end and after credit scene with Nalo. I'm guessing he's going to team up with him. They said that he might give him lightning powers. I don't know about that, but he came back, and all the gold and stuff on his shell is gone, and that was just bones. <laughs> and number two... Uh, what made this birthday so funny with Moana 2, my birthday, December 5th, is today. And like the past week, it had from Thanksgiving all the way to December 4th, soul times. And I'm like, yo, why the theater not, why is the theater here where I live not so December 5th? I was like, okay, well, maybe eventually when I get like a bit closer or so, so I waited a few days. So then saw it. It got to Monday, or no, it got to Sunday. I refreshed it and it went from December 4th, jumped to the 19th. It skipped the 5th through the 18th. I was like, hold up. Are you kidding me? I just want to see this movie on my birthday. Why is it being so difficult? I don't really want to go way out of town. Like, this is ridiculous. I don't know what I was doing. Eventually, the day before, so yesterday and Wednesday, they finally sold the soul time for December 5th through some of the 18th. I'm like, yo, this is ridiculous. Our movie theater was going to get shut down because we have some really good seats in our movie theater, but they're redoing them and getting us new ones. So the fact that they jumped from the 4th to the 19th, I was like, oh, it might be shutting down. I mean, some of the theaters already had them at the time, but I'm guessing they're going to shut it all the way down to get, like, all of them. But, you know, that's not what happened. Thank goodness. <laughs> you know, I really wanted to see this movie on my birthday, and I did. And uh, that's about it. They talked about Nalo. They, they, I know they... Um, did another joke. I mean, they did a joke from the first movie about his hook. There was a lot of theories that Maui was going to get two fist hooks, but that didn't come through. Because I think it was like one poster where he had his fist hook and his hand was like out to the side. 
people are like, oh, his hand's up to the side and the thing is blocking it. I mean, the the mask is blocking it because he has another fifth hook. But he obviously doesn't even want to show that to the movie. I'm like, oh, that's going to be dope. You need two fifth hooks for whoever they're going to fight. No, it was... It was <laughs> It was just the one. He just had the one, but obviously he was still able to do a lot with those fist hooks. Um, and yeah, that was good. That was a really good movie. I recommend it. I do want to mention when Wallace started like screaming and spazzing about Maui getting hit with a lightning bolt. I was like, "Yo, that is crazy!" <laughs> My jaw dropped when he got hit because we heard the lightning bolt charging up, and Maui trying to pull the you know the island up. He's like, "What the?" Yo. Oh, he's like screaming and his tattoos are coming up. That was just a crazy scene. <laughs> that was just a crazy, crazy scene. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. Really good movie. So, like, see, and subscribe. I'll see you all later. Thank you all for watching. I thank you all of for being one of human beings. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. All right. <laughs>